Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. I will click the go to quest button though, because that is what we're doing today. We are going to go to do the event because I need to know what's going on with this poetry. <laughs> we're gonna go to Wangshu Inn, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what's happening. Uh, we're waiting for Farina. Yes, because I, I just there's no particular reason why I want Farina. I just I just want her. Not because I, I have no idea how good she's going to be as a character, but it's purely because I thought she had funky eyelashes. So we're going to get Farina for the eyelashes. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm hoping I have enough Primer Gems. I should definitely have enough to get something. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, and then we'll see, we'll see who else comes out soon. But I'm hoping maybe, hopefully, the next time, because Nuvalet will come back and he looks really good. So maybe I'll try and get him when he comes back around again. But, you know, it kind of depends on if I have any... any Prime Gems at that point in time. <laughs> Which is a solid maybe. Um, okay. Oh, looks like you're having fun. What's the occasion this time? Oh ho ho, do I spy Keiko and Paimon? We were just talking about you. This is more serendipitous than finding more after face planting on the road. Oh, you two, what are the odds? It's been too long. I'll bet you have some thrilling new tales from your journey to fill me in on. I can see it in your eyes. As ever. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, what were you talking about before we got here? Something fun or something delicious? Uh, we were talking about one certain traveller and how two's company but three's a crowd. As in several little duo tour. Around to that. What was she doing? Making four friends here and five more there, often at sixes and sevens as they brave the lakes and seas collecting pieces of eight and countless other treasures. They clearly must have nine lives. Wink wink. Let's hope they have less than ten deaths. What the? It just gets worse and worse. Shortly you may attend a grand banquet at Stonegate. All will be dressed in the nines for majestic food and what fine wines, and after eight long drinks with seven shorts, they'll each write six lines five times. You means all four corners of the world, so in three short seconds can you guess from these two standards of one speech each what this is event is about? Counting! <laughs> it's not, though it does sound fun. Maybe we miss an opportunity. In fact, it's a poetry gala, jointly hosted by representatives from both Monster and Liyue. Do you still remember the promise I made to the distinguished director who here during the Lantern Rite? No, because I didn't play during the Lantern Rite. Oh, something about writing poetry together? That's right, at the dinner table that night I just knew this young bard was a rare talent with exceptional taste. You know, it's rare to encounter such a kindred spirit. And now I finally see the chance to collaborate. It took me much trekking across the land to petition Eugene Terrace and contact the Knights of Vernius, but eventually... In the spirit of a friendship and poetry sharing, I managed to successfully organise the neighbouring nation's congenial poetry gala. Bit of a weird name. Leah's poetry is known far and wide, and Monster is a city of wine and song. With two nations teaming up, it'll be double the fun, and a great chance for people from both places to get to know one another. Vita and I will be the co-host for this poetry gala. Of course, I haven't studied the various forms and formalities of Leah poetry for long, so please forgive my dreadful performance just now. Uh, not at all. Venti, you followed my lead, most excellency. Excellently. Uh, you flatter me. Oh, this sounds like fun. Let's get involved. Uh, forsooth, I want to double dabble in first. Obviously, we gotta use the funky one. <laughs> oh, Primal Show would be amazing. Remember that time in the year when Primal gave you the first half of a couplet? Wind rises, winds never churn. You came up with the second half right away. Uh, but the sea of clouds, clouds always return. Oh, it looks like someone's gonna nap with this. Perhaps you'll have to raise the difficulty a little. Alright, so basically you guys are here to discuss the activities for the poetry fella, right? Oh, it looks like little Primal's brain has... Gained a wrinkle or two. You guessed it so effortlessly, but you still guessed it wrong. Huh? Wait, Paimon guessed wrong? We came here hoping to invite a special guest. I already told you I am not going. Xiao! <laughs> uh, Xiao, you're here too. Never having penned a verse myself, how could I hope to judge the poetry of others? Besides, afflicted with karma as I am, uh, the raucous atmosphere you are cultivating is precisely the kind which I must avoid, as you well know. Hey now, there's a first time for everything, right? We all start from Itsy Bitsy Spider, but give it a shot and you'll be wandering lonely as a cloud in no time. And you don't even have to join us in person if you really don't want to, you can just watch the party from a nearby mountaintop and cheer us on. But at least head down and take a look first. It might be, but it's right by the inn and there's plenty of fun activities to get involved with. It can't hurt to take a quick walk and check things out. Besides, with the renowned Keiko here, what is there to fear? Join us, it'll be fun. Hmm. I'll consider it. Oh, and he's gone. It's nearly time, why don't you all head to the venue and take a look around? Quite a few of your friends should have arrived by now. 
Yes, that's right. Venti and I still need to discuss the poem for the opening ceremony, so we'll catch up with you later. Plus, our adeptus friend might need a bit more convincing. We'll see if we can coax him down. Uh, gotcha, we'll be on our way then. Okay, we officially started the quest. If you kind of want to know what the event like, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, she's broken the hands of Nerf. Huh. Sounds good then. Sounds like Freya will be very impressive, which is uh, well, hopefully she's still very impressive, which is good. Good news for me. <laughs> Your tower is kind of odd. She's a little odd, but aren't they all odd? In a good way. I think she's fun. Hello. Uh, how about that for an opening? Yes, yes, I like it, but if we could give it a bit more oomph, it would be even better. I think we should leave with a bang, dip into a slippity slide, then whoosh into a whoop whoop bam. Got it? Got it. Completely understood. I I did not understand. Are you... Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to Stone Gate. Which makes sense if it's a uh, cross-border kind of situation. It makes sense to put it on the border. Okay, okay. I might so alive, you didn't think there would really be so many people here. Who's who's here? Oh! It's like a... Okay, it is quite nice. Look at that, they decorated. Oh, we've got Sing Chiu and Chung Yun. Hello. Hmm, well look who's here. This poetry fair seems to have attracted talent of the highest caliber. Uh, hey, Sing Chiu and Chung Yun are here too. I was actually headed into the mountains to train, but he accosted me on the way and dragged me here. Oh, how your words wound me. It's not my the responsibility of an exorcist of Leo to ensure that this Is it not the responsibility of an exorcist of Leo to ensure the celebration of friendship between our two nations stays free of evil spirits? Besides, this is an excellent opportunity to meet heroes who have come from far and wide. Surely you must be curious as to how that heroine of Mondstadt was able to lift such heavy objects like they were but a feather. Are you talking about Noelle? Yeah, she's super strong. Oh, well, since you are so well acquainted, could we trouble you to, to introduce us later? Okay, fine, but don't forget to help me with my investigation like you promised. That's the only reason I agreed to come at all. Huh? What investigation? Hmm, naturally I could never forget such a thing. My word is my bond. Relax, dear Paimon. All will be revealed in time. Uh, okay. I guess Noelle is here. <laughs> Wedding theories? Oh, yes. I do remember those. Could be, could be. Are you sure that wasn't really an evil spirit? Open your mind to all possibilities and I'm sure you'll find the answer. I suppose that's true. Hey, wait a second, you're planning on telling everyone here, are you? Wait, are you involved or are you just here? Are you just here? It was nice to have a chance to write poetry with our friends from Mondstadt. As if standing at the venue gets boring, so I brought some fruits and vegetables from my hometown to sell. Oh, but if you're looking to talk about poetry, I'm all ears. Ah, young folks these days always bring with new ideas. Poetry Gala, ah, thinking back on my youth, I certainly had stories I could put to paper back then. Ah, the world is eternal, but youth is ephemeral. I definitely said that wrong. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, I have no idea what Farina does, but it'll be a fun surprise! Similarly with the skins. I guess that means it probably is real, but I guess we'll find out later. So don't tell me. <laughs> I will. I will find out when it happens. Hello, Aunt Chow. Ipasonga is bustling now. Haha, <laughs> now that's a sight. You look weary, child. Why not take a rest? Oh, another investigator. Ha <laughs> ha Well, Diona's here. Hello. Diona! Hiko and Paimon, I didn't expect to see you here. Are you here to mix drinks? That's right, I was specially asked to attend this event on behalf of the Cat's Tale. I'm also here as a mixologist representing the monster wine industry. If you're representing Monsters wine industry, you must be hating every minute of it. Of course I hate it, but it's also a perfect chance. Perfect chance to destroy the reputation of Monsters wine business once and for all. Opportunities like this don't come around every day, you know. Uh-huh, how do you figure that? Eh, all I need to do is add some gross ingredients to the drinks and I can create the most disgusting concoctions imaginable. No one will ever buy wine from Monster again. Uh, Paimon thinks you'll end up getting the opposite result. Hmm, just you wait, I ain't about to mess this up. Good luck. Are you gonna write some poetry with us too? 
Poetry? Hmm, I've had plenty of bards singing in the tavern before, but I've never tried writing any myself. You should join in, it'll be fun. Fine if I have time. Oh! Wait, what do you have to say? Wait, let me, let me get behind here. Hello. Please take a seat wherever you like, enjoy the scenery, write a poem or two, and top it off with the finest drinks. Now people in the Monster have sure of similar ways to pass the time. Uh, Mika, Noel. Oh, it's Keiko and Paimon. Are you here for the neighbouring nation's congenial poetry gala as well? Uh, you said that with a straight face. Is Paimon the only one who thinks it sounds weird? Are you here as Monset's representatives? R representatives are nothing fancy like that. We were sent here by the Knights of Bonius to help maintain order and set up the venue. I didn't really do anything useful so far. Noel bought all these tables and chairs here from Monset by herself. She's a true knight. That's pretty far, Noel. Now that's just not true, your efforts were indispensable. You selected the venue, drew up the layout, and so on. Also, you're the true knight here. I'm still in training. If anything, I should be addressing you as sir. What? No, 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 please don't. Just keep calling me Mika. Why does it feel like these two could keep this up all day? Anyway, Master Jean did say that as long as we keep on top of our work, we should take a look around while we're here and get involved in the poetry gala as much as we can. But I haven't written much poetry before, so I'm not sure if I'll fit in. I actually have the same concern. Um, the important thing is just to participate. There's a first time for everything. Uh, yeah, plus you won't be alone. We're joining too. Keiko's a really good writer, you know? Really? In that case, we'll try our best too. Perhaps the challenge of writing poetry is a rite of passage that all who wish to qualify as a knight must eventually face. Home wouldn't go that far. But anyway, no backing out now. See you soon. Sure, maybe you could teach me a thing or two. Um, you could beat me to it. I was just going to ask for help too. I'll teach you both. We'll write together. What else do you have to say? Oh, what do you think the key to a good poem is, Mika? Do you have any ideas? Uh, I, uh, I'm not too sure either. If I'd known we're doing this sooner, I would have asked Miss Lisa to recommend some books on the topic. I didn't talk to Diona afterwards. Now, should I try adding loach pearls or horsetails next? Oh, wait, since we're in Lua, I should add some jay and chilies. Diona, your plan is not gonna work. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Poems and melodies wandering the wind, wafting to pastures beyond their home. Two really fishies struggling to swim, they ate so much they're starting to groan. An emo crystal fly draped in gold robes, a bright little light from that blaze lantern glows. Finches pinch the rice and scoot while the boars of the forest anxiety anxiously root. Welcome one and all to this festival of poetry, jointly organised by Libra and Mondstadt. For in full, the neighbouring nation's congenial poetry gala. We are your hosts, Libra's verse manga of the darkest, Ali's Hu Tao. And Monsters Lick a Loving Lyricist, Venti the Bard. The purpose of this event is to promote friendly, poetic exchanges between the, our two nations. So please have fun, talk to each other, and make some new friends. If you're here, you're our guest, so please enjoy this poetry fest. I'd also like to reassure everyone this event welcomes people of all skill levels, from first time rhymers to seasoned songwriters. If you ask me, the most important thing you can bring to writing poetry is authenticity. That means reaching deep down to all the thoughts and feelings you usually hide away or struggle to express and putting them into words, just write from the heart in whatever form you like. To help everyone really cut loose and enjoy themselves to the fullest, Venti and I have carefully prepared three themes to be revealed over the course of three days. Let's get right to it. The first theme is Riddle Me This. Solving riddles, huh? Interesting. It's actually a pretty good choice for a warm-up activity. Now, phew, I'm glad they're not making us write sonnets or something right at the start. Does everyone see the lantern hanging around the venue? These have been specially prepared for the riddle game. Simply write down your riddle and hang it on a lantern. Then Venti and I will select a few to pose to the crowd and you will try to solve them. But now I'll give you some time to write down and hang up your riddles. Feel free to walk around and talk with each the other contestants to get the creative juices flowing. And remember, whoever guesses the most riddles correctly will get a prize. And with that, the neighbouring nation's communal poetry gala has officially begun. Okay. Are you the first poetry riddle? What, is that, what does that mean? Oh, over here. Sparkling. Oh, let's see what's on this lantern. Hmm, a tender sigh from home, far from how far the flowers roam. A visitor asked me why for a dream beyond the sky. Okay, someone from Leo definitely wrote this one. I just read that one too. Leo's poem sure seemed difficult to grasp. 
In my dream skies are talking about some kind of bird. Hmm, so it means something like, this thing's really far from home, it's in a vast area, it's flying really high, is that it? In a nutshell, yes. Oh, you're amazing, Pymon. It looks like I still have a lot of learning to do. Oh, that's nothing really. Once you've spent enough time in Leah, you just sort of pick up on these things. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Back when I was out with the Grand Master on an expedition, I started picking up some local customs without even realising it. Back to the riddle, we still haven't actually solved it. What could it be talking about? Something that flies high and far. Oh, that makes me think of dandelions. Oh, that makes sense. And monsters believe that dandelions can carry your feelings on the wind. Maybe we're missing something. It can't be that easy after all. It's a riddle from Leah. What would their equivalent of the dandelion be if there even is one? What do you think, Kiko? Oh, I guess dandelion is the right answer. Great, then we'll have one answer ready to go when the game begins. Uh, the important thing is that it's authentic. All right, just like Venti said, as long as the interpretation makes sense and reflects our perception of the poem, then perhaps there are no wrong answers. Well, no matter what the real answer is, the guessing's all part of the fun. Let's go look at the next one. Yes, I want to see if there's any Monset Star riddles. Okay. Okay, wait, what happens if I click it again? Hmm, turn aside from home, blah, 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 room. Darcy Y, Regime Beyond the Sky. Yeah, that makes sense as a dandelion. <laughs> okay, uh. Yeah, we can reach that. Yeah, just about. She, you know, if she jumps, actually, if she jumps, she can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, believe in Yao Yao. You thought the answer to Paimon's riddle was large and emo slime? Could be, could be. I mean, no wrong answers, right? Uh, this one says, Earth's handwriting is just awful. That makes it sing chill, doesn't it? <laughs> well, maybe not, because I know his handwriting is terrible. Um, I have four corners like a square pancake, but I'm stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. I pass through the lips one piece at a time, the more you consume, the broader your mind. Huh? Well, Hammond's shooting from that one. Is there really a food that can make you smarter? Pam's gonna try that. Uh, oh, Pam, you have to pass the surface level meaning with riddles or you'll fail to plumb the depths. Huh? So have you got any ideas, Sing Chul? Well... Sing Chul just hung that riddle up a moment ago. Called it. <laughs> Oh, this is Sing Chul's riddle. You know, Pine was expecting you to write something a little more elegant. Um, this festival is about building friendship and mutual understanding. With so many friends from Monster at present, I thought I'd try writing something more accessible and less flowery so that more people could enjoy it. No. Hey, not bad. So, buddy, does that mean you can tell your old pal Paimon the answer on the sly? Paimon, no, you've got to think about it. Uh, not a chance. You'll have to wait for the answer to be revealed just like everyone else. Hmm, meanie. If that's how you feel, why don't you try and stump me with a riddle of your own? And maybe Paimon will, we'll see who stops who. But KK, you'll help Paimon come up with a riddle, right? Gladly! Ha! At least you're nice to Paimon. Oh, then I look forward to seeing the fruits of all the street labours. Hmm, prepare to get stumped. Wait, no, I, I want to have another thought. Okay, okay. Four corners like a pancake, a stuffed and seasoned and carefully baked. One piece at a time. Broader your mind. Huh? I, I have opened the food menu. <laughs> okay, but... What's square? And from Liyue. That's the other important bit you have to add. Is it this thing? Probably this thing. But then that's already baked. Hmm. Hmm. I have a lot of food, apparently. Hmm. Is it the toast? It'll be the toast. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't know what this is. Okay, okay, never mind. Find out later. Uh, okay, where's the third riddle? Uh, oh, over here. Hmm, even though Paimon said she'd write a riddle, Paimon really doesn't have any clue how. Let's start by reading a few more of the others for inspiration. On four long legs my slim body sits, I eat not a bite and drink not a sip. 
With passionless face, I greet countless guests whom I carry all day without needing to rest. That's a chair. Is this talking about some kind of animal? It must be some other kind of object. It's a chair! I called it. <laughs> ha, Diana, how do you guess it so quickly? Wait, were you the one who wrote it? Uh, no, of course I didn't write it. The answer just popped into my head. I'm always telling the cats in the tavern the chairs get tired from working all the time, so they shouldn't use them to sharpen their claws. Okay, so we don't need to have a bait and switch. Are you trying to write one? Yep, and thanks to you, Pine, we just thought of one. Maybe I should try and come up with one too. <laughs> Alright, Pamela's riddle is now hanging up. Diana, do you want to know the answer? But now I don't need, I don't really care about winning a prize. Okay then, well, looks like it's time to carry on with the event. We should regroup with the others. Sure, have fun. You're watching Chill's riddle instantly. Harvey, not good at riddles. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm apparently medium at riddles. <laughs> Toast is Monstat. Yeah, Toast is from Monstat, but... I don't, I don't know! Okay, this is... Okay... Maybe I just don't have any left. Hmm... I feel compelled to go to a stove. Where am I gonna find an easy stove? You know what? I need to know. We gotta... We gotta go... To the stove. <laughs> now, as far as I'm with Ganyu's bow, I mean, again, you have underestimated the fact that I don't know what to do with different bows. So I just gave it to Farazan on a whim. I assume you talk about this. Like, I don't use Farazan. <laughs> I just already had a bow for Yelana. She's the only bow character I actively use, so someone had to have it. <laughs> and Farazan it was. Okay. We're looking for this again. We're looking for something square. And from Leo. So the reason I did it like this is because these are roughly in order of like nation. Okay, it's not one of those. Okay, this is sort of the. Mm. Almond tofu is kind of square, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that baked. Hmm. Hmm. No. Potato things? No. This? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll find out. What's Sing Chill's food? He has a specialty food. I think it's the crystal shrimp maybe or parcels? Which one of those? Uh, Razan deserves it. I guess she does, I guess she does. <laughs> okay. I hear it looks like everyone's about done mingling and riddling. Gather around and look this way. Venti and I have selected several riddles from everyone's contributions and we added a few of our own to the mix for good measure. Shortly we'll randomly select a few to read aloud. If your riddle gets selected, remember that you have to announce the correct answer at the end. Anyone who guesses correctly gets one point, and if nobody guesses correctly, the writer of the riddle gets a point. Sounds fair to me. Of course, when the riddler reveals the right response, it only counts if everyone agrees that it's not too far fetched. That's right, now if there are no more questions, it's time to reveal the first riddle. Over the draw at least some that I can get. Oh no, does only the first person solver get the points? Oh no, that means I have to be the first to raise my hand. Uh, please choose Paimon's riddle. Please choose Paimon's riddle. Riddle number one, let me see. Uh, this riddle is unique, especially the handwriting. I have pork, four, four corners like a square pancake, but I'm stuffed with seasoned, carefully baked, baked, baked. I pass you the ch li lips one piece at a time. The more you can, can consume, the broader you your mind. Reducing chills. <laughs> Better answer as quickly as you can. You don't want anyone else beating you to it. Ah, uh, drat. It's uh, pizza. The answer is pizza. It better not be pizza because pizza is round. Pizza is a circle. 
Uh, even without the author coming forward, I can confidently declare the answer is wrong. How does eating pizza broaden your mind? And while I'm no expert in exotic dishes, if I'm not mistaken, pizza is around. It did not like more meat. But eating pizza makes you happy, and being happy makes it easy to face problems that need solving, so... Okay, Pamela Mitch, she may have jumped the gun on this one. Maybe it's some other kind of food. Don't know, riddles are never that simple. It needs to be something that makes people more intelligent. Oh. Four corners like a square pancake. You need to consume Tabronium. Okay, is it a book? It would make sense if it's a book, but it said bake. Do you not bake a book? I don't like it. If Paimon had known it was going to be this tough, she'd have read more books in her time. <laughs> Paimon! Then what is it? Have you got it? Books! But then you don't bake a book! That's not... I protest the use of the word baked. <laughs> uh, the square, they got loads of big words baked into them. Every big word passes through on it as you read it up, makes you smarter. Again, you also don't usually read... Well, I don't read books out loud. I have some flaws with this riddle. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Her books, the answer is books. Oh, she sparkled. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. I was quite proud of that one. Oh, it appears the riddle writer has announced the answer. Okay, one point to Paimon. Huh, so the answer was books. Ah, oh, how did I not get that? Come on, Mika, concentrate. Ah, oh, we're awesome at this. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, oh, what I meant to say was that you're awesome at this. Thanks for the point, Keiko. On to riddle number two. I gotta get in there first this time. High above the wispy clouds amidst the gloomy snow-filled trout, standing alone on an icy stage beneath it. Every lowly sage. Looks like a poem from Leo. Wait. High above the wispy clouds amidst the gloomy snow-filled trout, standing upon alone on an icy stage beneath it. Every lowly sage. The moon? Oh, it's... I got it! You, you did? <laughs> oh, I just noticed he has a tiny ponytail! That's so ridiculously tiny! <laughs> his ponytail is like no longer than the rest of his hair. Why does he... <laughs> Why is it like this? Eh, looks like those two have some ideas. Hmm, maybe it's some kind of plant that lives in cold high places. Oh, it could be. It could be a plant. Mika, please go ahead. As a full length of bonus, you represent all of us from Mondstadt here. No, no, how could I? It was you who thought of it first. You should be the one to guess. Our mouth isn't necessarily correct. Besides, it's first come, first serve round here, and you did it. Uh, no, I didn't. You were just before me. <sighs> how gracious, and consider our fellow competitors are towards each other. A wonderful sight to see. How about both of you say your answer at the same time? If you're both right, you'll each get a point. Oh, whoops, I didn't realise we'd made such a scene. Oh, crud. Guess we've kept dragging. Get out of it. Uh, so, Noelle, what do you say? Uh, yes, let's... Our answer is... Oh! Celia! That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Ah, uh, oh, if Venti wrote it, that would make a lot more sense. That certainly sounds like a good candidate for the correct answer. A flower that blooms on the highest peaks and known for its exquisite blooms. You see, the Celia is held by many more such as to be the true wind bloom. Uh, although, since the writer hasn't yet come forward to announce the answer, that probably wasn't the answer they were looking for. Sorry, any other answers? I can't believe I was wrong. Maybe it's a plant from Liyue. Is the answer Qingxin? The poem does evoke a strong sense of quiet, proud solitude in a high place. Correct, I wrote this one. Qingxin is the right answer. Now, no, Xingqiu got it before Paimon could. However, after listening to the host's description, I do remember reading about Cecilia flowers in a book once. They definitely fit the description of the pure flower standing proudly and alone on high. Are her eyes glowing? You know? Like... I forgot her name, but that Oceanid from the summer event. Water Sprite? I'd like to prove the answer from our two friends from Monster as well. Uh, really? Thank you so much! Uh, well, since even the Riddler themselves agrees, all three contestants earn a point each. Uh, darn it, Sing Chill's caught up to Pyman already! We've already just started. It's only one measly point. Yeah, you're probably right. Moving now to our third riddle. Huh? Why is the handwriting so floaty? What's got no wings but flies in the air never gets tired of floating up there. So full of more it comes out the nose, but in the sea, glug, 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 down it goes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> what? 
Is this? I'm gonna go with Morax because he is a dragon that I don't think he had wings. I thought it was like a like a Chinese dragon that just kind of sweat like a snake. <laughs> and uh, but I don't know about the sea part. <laughs> they would be full of more. I don't know. Um, that's Paimon's. Oh, oh, it's Paimon's. Oh, that's Paimon's. They picked Paimon's riddle. Yay! I do like her riddle. Her riddle is very fun. Uh, what is it? Why is anyone guessing? Is Paimon's riddle too hard? But that's not quite it. More like it's so ludicrously simple we just cannot believe it. Wait, what? <laughs> Morax is poor. Well, I know Morax is poor, but not when he was Morax. <laughs> he was very rich back then. Uh, oh, is it the Jade Chamber? I forgot the beginning of the riddle. But the Jade Chamber was full of Mora, and then it fell. I'll be the Jade Chamber. I want no way! Well, go on then, tell us the answer if you're so sure. Oh yeah, I didn't have any wings either. The answer is... Paimon? Oh! She doesn't have any Mora either! Paimon is ridiculously poor. But she does have... She did fall into the ocean, we did fish her out of a lake or something. What? It's Paimon. It's Paimon. I was actually going to say Paimon too. Me too. No, you're all completely wrong. How the heck did you all think the answer was Paimon? <laughs> Paimon, do you have wings behind your back? Uh, no. You're always floating, but you never seem to get tired of it. And Paimon has a very healthy appetite, which must cost Keiko a lot of more in meal expenses. Ah, we are the source of Mora. I see. I've heard from the senior knight that Keiko rescued Paimon by fishing her out of the sea, so that means Paimon can't swim, so if she fell in the sea then, uh... <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Wait, wait, now Paimon's doubting herself. What was the answer again? Think about it for a moment. No, you're wrong. The answer to Paimon's riddle is obviously the Jade Chamber. You know, the Jade Chamber that's always flying up there in the sky. Is that so? Hmm, I still maintain the riddle actually describes Paimon more accurately. In fact, if we just added two more lines to the poem, it'd be the perfect riddle. Oh, what do you want to add? A traveller's companion, talkative guide, a praiseworthy presence always by their side. Oh, do you mean it? Can we really add that part? Oh, I can vouch for it. Pine was the best travel companion ever. You think so too? <laughs> okay, then Paimon would like to announce the great answer to the riddle is the widely adored Paimon. <laughs> great, and with that, the widely adored Paimon has gifted a point to each to everyone who answered just now. Or riddles and giggles fill the air as the time flies by. <laughs> Guess doing riddles is a lot of fun, and even though Paimon didn't manage to beat Sing Chiu, Paimon still feels like she's got a little smarter. Or oh, didn't Chung Yun mention he was investigating something before? Let's go ask him about it. Okay. Okay, what have you guys been talking about? I have missed a lot of things. Um. I don't think Sing Chiu has the worst handwriting. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere. Uh, maybe someone has his voice like. He might be one of his voice lines. Um, not if you get pizza from Reza. Fair enough, fair enough. Paimon's logic is flawless. Yes. You don't bake books, you deep fry them. <laughs> Google Prices was a square for Sing Chul. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> um, Silly's Venti's material to send. Yes, it's also in his hat. Which, you know. But it wasn't him. <laughs> ocean Lady. Yeah, she looked like the Ocean Lady. Her hair was different, but... Oh, okay, I got too close. But she had the glowing blue eyes. Maybe she's a Hydra Mimic. Right. <laughs> uh, yay, Paimon. Yes, yay, Paimon. We love and appreciate Paimon here. Uh, hey, you two. Oh, hi, Paimon. You know, for a moment that I was worried I might lose to you. Oh, are you collecting your prize money right now? Wait, prize, not prize money. Uh, I'm indeed. If you really want it, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. Seriously? Wow, what is it? Um... Most generous donation by yours, truly as director of Wang Jun Funeral Parlor. Namely, a buy one get one free coupon for a high-end customized service package. It's a pleasant surprise to learn you're so interested in it, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon looks so upset. I would also be upset if I won a competition and the art, like, the prize was a buy one get one free funeral. 
What are you supposed to do with that? Uh, nope, no, no thank you, high pass, you can keep it. Are you sure? In that case, I'll gladly take it. Here you are, now remember this package comes not anytime, anywhere, on demand collection service. Just give us a call, we'll be right there. But any luck will still show up even if you're unable to call. So to what do we owe the honor, Paimon? Uh, well, what do you mean we? Chong Yun's the one Paimon's looking for, not you. Wasn't he saying something about needing help? Oh yeah, that. How about I put it in, in middle form? Huh, isn't the competition over? It was like a demon, not demonic or devil, devoid of the diabolic. Afar it floated free above the ground, but when approached, those sought naught could be found. Huh? Floating, not demon. Um, sounds to me like you encountered a ghastly little ghosty in the wild. Ooh, maybe. Perhaps I should just explain it. Basically, when I was training this morning, I suddenly caught sight of a non-human entity. It was floating in the air without any kind of external aid, its body was all transparent. At first I thought I'd finally encountered a demon that wasn't repelled by my pure yang spirit, and immediately prepared to exercise it. But none of my methods had any effect on it. When I went to try and get a closer look at it and tried to certain what I was dealing with, it had dissipated into thin air. You sure it's not a ghost or spirit of some kind? Quite sure, I could sense it had a physical body. Um, it, and if it was a spirit, I'm sure I would have, it would have been scared away long before I saw it. It's all my fault, I got overexcited in my haste, I didn't ascertain its true nature before taking action. Thinking about Connor, if it wasn't an evil spirit, maybe I offended some kind of adeptus or illuminated beast. You shouldn't blame yourself, it was something you'd never seen before, anyone else would have reacted the same way. Besides, we're making it for now by doing our best to find out the truth. Any thoughts, Venti? Have you managed to untangle Chungin's twisted tail? I need to take a guess first, Hu Tao. Oh, that means you have. I can't be absolutely certain, but I'm reasonably sure it's not what Liyue would call an evil spirit or demon, so whatever it is, it's not dangerous. How about this? We can incorporate third element into tomorrow's poetry activity. What does that mean we get to play outside while we're writing poetry? Not close, but no. Good ideas could just pop into your head out of thin air, but if you ask me, everyone should relax tonight and get a good rest before tomorrow. You say that, but your gaze keeps drifting over towards the wine stand. Empty! <laughs> well, that was fun. Okay. Oh! Oh, we've unlocked, like, the little menu. That means we've unlocked the mini games. I like mini games. Okay. In there. Uh... Oh, hello, Drawing Panda. Good to see you. Good to see you. Have fun lurking and doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Simultaneously, welcome to the stream. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, it's over here. This makes a lot more sense. I was gonna go down here, but clearly, this is where it is. <laughs> what is this? Is new? They put a whole structure here. Wow. Hello. Hmm, now it shouldn't be too difficult. What are you doing? I'm setting up the game I'm responsible for. Have you heard of the 100 pace hurling rights? You want me to conduct a bunch of right to chuck things on distance? You're very perceptive and got half, half right. The core game mechanics do revolve around throwing, but that's not what rights means here. I learned about this game from an ancient book. Let me briefly walk you through it. Traditional rules dictate that all participants in this game must be sitting down as part of the rights. Well, you must also adopt a special sitting posture, which I will not, which I will not demonstrate for you at this time since I don't have any cushions here. From their sitting positions, the participants must follow the music's rhythm and throw the darts into the distant pots. There are many ways to throw the darts into the pots, each with their own special names. For example, the first dart to land in the pot is called the first. If the subsequent dart also lands in the vessel, it's called a streak. If the dart hits the handle of the pot, it's called piercing. If the dart is thrown through the neck before bouncing out of the pot, it's called valiant. There's no way I'm going to remember that. Don't worry, you don't need to remember all of those terms. They are uh, remembering them is my job. Anyway, all you need to know is that the goal is to throw as many darts into the pots as you can before time runs out. I'll take care of the rest. That sure is simplified. Alright. I mean, the rule book does say whoever wins tosses the most darts into the pot wins. As for the rules that require the loser to drink and write a poem, I can't really ask every player who loses to do all that now, can I? Anyways, I'm almost done setting up the game. The holding pots are over there. I'll get you the darts momentarily. Try right now if you're interested. Okay. I'm really bad at aiming things. Wait to talk to him. Uh, do you want to try playing 
the game, yes. Show your dart and the pots are over there. Okay. Okay. I didn't read the instructions. Oh, okay. Here's an ordinary holding pot created by the organizer, which will award 25 points. Slight pots are special ones that will award 25 points. A short point after you can fire multiple darts. Ooh. Ring right is a special item. If thrown darts, the score gained will be doubled. Okay. Um, I'm really, really bad at darts. Oh, oh! I should be really good at this. This is, <laughs> this is like I have to do this for you, way, you way all the time. This should be easy. Oh, I miss. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> oh, there's a special one. They're moving. Oh! Let me get these, and then these will be much quicker. <laughs> well, that worked! Okay. What did I win? Okay, stuff. Lovely. Okay. You item. Explode? Oh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> um. I won't be asked. Uh, how many wishes do I have? A lot. I might play more of that mini game, but we, we got it. I was asked a question, and I will provide. Um, I have 19, but I also have 8,600 Primer Gems, which is another 50. 50... Four. About. <laughs> yes. Roughly 54. No, total 60... 50... 73? <laughs> Um, it's very much hat. Hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the show. I love how you always show up just to send potatoes. <laughs> Thank you for the potatoes. I like it. I like it. <laughs> always chaotic. Uh, could we both have about 73 wishes? Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. I feel compelled to play the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Pot. Exploding pot. No, exploding pot. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, exploding pot. And then the close pot. Oh. Exploding pot. Oh, that was good. Okay. Oh no! No! I'm really bad at this, apparently. No! Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> oh, it's because this stupid... <sighs> okay, okay. I was really hoping to hit this thing during the um, double period, but apparently not. <laughs> I'm not good enough for that. Oh, great. This is fine. Oh no. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so bad at throwing? You'd think after all the times I've thrown Gwei Gwei, I'd be much better at throwing things and aiming them. <laughs> but not not meant to be. Oh it's okay. I got all the points anyway. What would you do if I made you glasses glass 
Glassesless. Well, the thing is, I can see big things. The parts would be okay. I wouldn't be able to read anything, though. <laughs> so, I don't know. What would I do? <laughs> okay, okay. That's different. Oh, this pot. Consuming pot. Ooh. <gasps> oh, no, it eats them! It just eats the other pots! <laughs> what is this? I don't want to eat the other pots! Okay, we gotta keep an eye out for the funky eat consuming pot. So far, no evil pot. No. Oh gosh, oh gosh. No, we gotta eat the special pot first. <laughs> Okay, okay. It's a game of speed. If you get these ones first, then it's all good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like this pot. It's scary! <laughs> um, okay, during Fan of Redeemed Hydrate, I will drink some water. The water has been consumed. <laughs> okay. Are there any other funky pots? Oh, okay. Oh, they changed positions. Huh. Oh, it disappears! Okay, okay, okay. This is quite entertaining, actually. <laughs> but not my best skill, but that's okay. I like this little tra- oh. so bad at aiming! Why are you so difficult? Okay. 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 Oh no, I should have... Okay. Okay. Should have done that differently. Nope. Missed. Okay. No, I missed again! No, come back here! No! I'm so bad at this. No! Oh, I still missed. Maybe I should just aim for all the other pots. I'm not gonna hit that one. Okay, no, I did. Okay, fine. This is all good. This is all good. Oh no, the consuming pot! No! The. C I feel like one of those rigged fairground games is hard to do. It's hard, as hard to do as one of those. Because this is like the one who rigged it. I mean, pretty much. This is this is essentially a fairground game, no? We're in we're at a poetry fair. And this is a mini game. Okay, this is a never-ending one. Okay. It looks like the other ones had like 50 pots total. This one just just goes on. Just goes on and on. Oh, 
would help if I had any sense of aim. Like, even when there's just a simply a pot here, I'm still missing it, and I don't understand how I'm missing it so badly. But I am! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, there's so many of these ones. Okay. Okay, okay. And then I have to try and hit this stupid pot that moves. Oh! Is that not a moving pot? Oh, maybe that's not a moving pot. I thought it was a moving pot. Okay. Oh, consuming pot. Oh, there's two consuming pots. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is fine. How long does this go on for? Quite a while, apparently. But these ones move. Oh. Okay, okay. okay. This is fine. Oh, special pot. Okay, okay. Uh oh, the consuming pots. Why am I so bad at hitting them that even though it was right here, I still fail? Like you'd think, I'd be better at this. But I'm just like not, just really badly not good at this. That's okay, I'm good enough. Fade it. Nope. Nope. Oh, no, that worked. <laughs> okay, there's 20 seconds left. And then it will stop spawning pots. I think I already have, oh, I already have maximum points. So that, that's okay. Okay, there's a timer. There's a timer. Okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, I should be able to collect all of the prizes now. Which is good. I like a good prize. And I'm getting one of these, um, I don't know what they are, but they look like little lanterns? Which I assume are the points we're going to need later in this game. Like in the, it's probably like a little shop or something. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, thank you, Tingjin. That was an interesting mini game. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. GMT. Thanks again, and have a great day.